So in this story, um, sorry, in this video, <laughs> I'm going to talk about stories. In this video, I want to talk about um, how to make the most out of some of the Flourish map templates using stories. So how to kind of do a map story. Um, so right now I'm here in the um, marker map template, the 3D marker map, which is cool. It's very, you can kind of zoom around and you can pan and change the angle and stuff like that. Um, so the map I have is this sort of cool image as marker map of different London landmarks. And say, for example, you wanted to sort of make a, make a story in some way, sort of zoom around the map and um, look at each of the landmarks in more sort of granular detail, like where they are and give a little bit of um, information about each of them. So here's Buckingham Palace. Um, you can see the fountain in front of it and then St. James Park and everything like that. Um, the best way to do this is uh, to use a map. I mean, to, <laughs> to use a story. Um, so it's also worth pointing out that um, sometimes people get confused with how um, sort of saving views and stuff works in Flourish. And there's another video where we talk about one side stories. But for example, if I wanted to zoom in on, uh, I think this is Piccadilly Circus. Um, yep and show where that is. Um, and a lot of people think that once you zoom in here in the visualization editor, if I export, republish, go to the map, that it should save that view. But in fact, it's just gonna sort of revert to the original view um, of the map. So another way to do that is using a story as well. So I'm gonna show you kind of how this works. So here I am in the visualization editor. I'm just gonna click create a story. Um, and it's going to give me this map as the first slide of my story. So um, it's really quite a cool feature. Uh, to get the most out of these maps, you really should be making stories because it's really quite sort of dynamic and visually um, striking uh, to see these. So, so for example, um, I wanted to sort of say here's a map of a bunch of different London landmarks. Um, and sort of give a general overview. When you're in the story editor, you can kind of drag, unlike in the visualization editor, you can kind of drag and zoom to get, um, and the story editor will save that view. So that's our sort of main view. And then say I'll duplicate this slide to get the same, keep the same visualization. And then I kind of zoom in on Hyde Park and I'm like, give it a little caption, like this is, Ah, this is Hyde Park, the largest park in central London. And then I duplicate that again, and I'm going to zoom out and sort of zoom in on something else. Um, Paddington Station, I think this is probably, yeah. Um, <laughs> get that off. Um, here's Paddington Station. Watch out for bears. Um, and then I do another one and say in the next one, I want to kind of zoom across and let's look at the Tower of London, but instead of kind of just keeping it at the same angle, I want to kind of pan around so you can kind of see it in a cool angle. And finally, here's the Tower of London. So now if I export and publish this story, publish. If I start from the beginning, you can kind of see um, all of the markers and then you can see how it really nicely animates and sort of zooms around um, to the different uh, views. And it's really quite striking. Um, a couple of other things to point out um, is that to sort of zoom, so let me make another slide. So to sort of zoom in and out, um, on a Mac, um, it's just sort of uh, the scroll bar in and out or control in and out, depending on the settings that you've set in the template itself. And then to sort of do the, you can also obviously use these buttons if you'd like. Um, and then to sort of do the panning and changing of the angle, you hold control and use your mouse or your trackpad to kind of uh, move around. And you can also sort of drag around um, like you would on a normal map as well. Um, so I hope that that sort of explains when and why you'd want to use a map story, um, especially with these 3D maps, which are really cool and have a lot of cool, like, street names and stuff like that on there. 
um, it's really the best way to get um, you know to use these map templates um, and I hope that helps you and that you give it a try.